Welcome to CJ Software Logistics short feature where we attempt to answer the question, what is application packaging? In this presentation we will be focusing on local installation packages and we will explore application virtualization in a separate presentation. Application packaging is the creation of an executable or file used by a service that contains the files, registry and logic to install an application onto a device. This executable or file is known as an installation package. Applications can be complicated. They often contain many artifacts, such as the examples listed here, and there are many more, such as services, XML configuration, file type associations. I could go on. Just imagine now the effort of documenting and passing on those instructions to an end user and the potential risk of issues with your application if carried out incorrectly. An application package takes care of this by allowing the user to follow a simple wizard to choose the options that they want and the package will take care of the rest. Application packages can come in multiple formats but the common ones are Microsoft Windows Installer MSI Package. This is our preferred format and we will discuss that in just a moment. Legacy Executable Packages. These are a proprietary exe file created by an application vendor that has been created to install their application. You may have encountered this in the form of a setup.exe file. Some third-party applications are available to assist vendors in creating this type of package, preventing them from having to write the code themselves. Since Windows 8, a new cross-device application type has been made available via the Windows Store. These are often referred to as modern or metro apps. These applications are simple, self-contained and file-based. Currently, the .appx format is the only choice for delivering applications through the Windows Store. Today, most business applications are not delivered in an AppX format, and this may be due to the age of the applications, the oversimplified nature of these application types, or the vendor has chosen not to deliver their application in this way. This brings us to the last format, batch or script files. Although a crude format, if a batch or script file installs an application onto your device, then this could arguably be considered a package type. So far, we have covered what application packaging is for application vendors and in-house developers. Application packaging, however, also has a place in enterprises too. More accurately, this is known as application repackaging, but this is often simply referred to as application packaging as well. Application repackaging is the process of taking an existing application package and recreating or modifying it to meet business and administrative requirements such as automated central deployment. Imagine that you have been informed about a security risk in one of your key applications. You need to get an urgent update out to all of your desktop devices. You may have thousands of devices to target, which may be spread over multiple sites and even countries. You cannot afford the time to go along to each device manually running through the installation on each one. So your installation package has to be made centrally deployable and without user interaction. Application configuration. Lots of applications require configuration to make them work. That may be beyond the capability of your users, such as entering server details or pointing to a central document template location. Application packages can be offered to automatically pre-configure your applications. Automatic licensing. This is not always possible, but in some cases, where a volume license is available, application packages may be able to pre-enter license information for the end user. Standardization. Your business may like to have a consistent look and feel to your end user applications. For example, lots of applications like to compete for space on a user's desktop, cluttering up the workspace. You may choose to remove all desktop shortcuts and opt for start menu only shortcuts. Another example may be that you stipulate, where possible, that applications are not to automatically update themselves to allow you to implement change control processes. Convert legacy packages. You may want to convert a legacy package for the following reasons. Legacy packages come in unlimited shapes and sizes. These package types are constrained by whatever command line parameters that the developer has provided. It is possible to have a legacy package that does not follow best practices, such as overwriting shared files or system files. 
It may not be possible to deploy the package centrally because it will not run silently. Legacy packages often do not benefit from the multitude of features available to Windows installer.msi packages, which we will discuss in just a moment. On all Microsoft Windows operating systems, starting from Windows XP and Server 2000 Service Pack 3, there is the Windows installer service that is associated with the .msi file type. An MSI is a simple database containing files, registry and instructions that the Windows installer needs to install the application onto the device. Some of the benefits of using a Microsoft Windows installer package format include Microsoft Windows native installation format. All recent versions of Microsoft Windows has the required Windows installer service and is the way in which Microsoft recommends that you install your application to work with their operating system. Basic Windows installer packages do not require you to write code and is a stable package format with community support. The Windows installer has most of the standard installation functions that you would require and there are many tool sets available to create this package format. Complex application types are supported that incorporate items such as con registration, file type associations and services. Additional required functionality can be added by executing custom scripts and executables. The Windows installer package format provides a consistent, standardized approach to packaging. Windows installer packages are a standard format that can be read and modified by another person. All major deployment tool sets such as SCCM, Altiris, and Lendesk support MSI packages. Windows installer packages can be deployed silently. Installations are transactional, meaning that they can be rolled back if unsuccessful. If an MSI package is correctly authored, Windows installer can automatically heal an application if it's found to be corrupt. Packages can be installed in a way that selected features can be installed just in time, meaning when they are used. Shared components are respected and are only removed if the last application that requires them is removed. Older version files do not automatically overwrite newer ones. And finally, the Windows installer service provides extensive logging capabilities. If you would like to know more about application packaging, and the services that we offer, please feel free to visit us at applicationpackaging.net, where you can also subscribe to our newsletter. You can contact us using the details shown, and you can find us on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Google+. Thank you for watching.